There's a high school security supervisor who has not been terminated for doing this. Let me show you the picture. You see that? Security supervisor at a high school. There's a fight that broke out between two young black female students. They get involved, they separate the fight. And he uses this maneuver. He uses the knee on the teen's neck in order to subdue the teen. Now, there's some police departments that say, you know what, this is a no no for grown people, right? So, this has been done in a high school setting during a scuffle between two black teen girls. A high school security supervisor decided to use his knee. In order to damn near break the neck of this young girl. This is in San Diego. So here's your background. A San Diego high school security supervisor will not face any steep penalties for his involvement in pinning a black teen to the ground by her neck. Instead, Grossmont Union High District say he was placed on administrative leave. He will be retrained and moved to another school. Well, that'll do it. That's it. All he needed was to be trained. He just needed a different level of training. He needs to know that children, you don't put your knee in their necks. He just needed to know that. He just did, he wasn't aware, according to the school district. And the reason why they're not punishing him is even more ironic. The supervisor. Um, whose name is redacted in the report protecting him, is a former sheriff's deputy. Ah, that, that's where he learned to move from. He learned to move, move from the academy, okay? Former sheriff's deputy who is seen holding down both girls before ultimately restraining one of the participants by kneeling on her neck and holding her hands behind her back. According to the report, now get this y'all, this makes me mad as hell, according to the report, Termination was not recommended due to the supervisor's lack of adequate training. Students who witnessed the fight and security staffers actions were taken aback. Seemed a little aggressive, like a big burly dude on a freshman. I heard she was a freshman, said one of the seniors. Either way, she's only 14 to 18 years old. So that's kind of you know a big 200 pound dude and a smaller female. Yeah, that, that makes perfect sense, right? Okay, the reason why they're not going to punish this guy according to them is because he did not have adequate training. I want to remind you, he's a former sheriff's deputy who is now a freaking security guard. He doesn't have adequate training, what a cop out. What a way to not stand up for young children. What a way to show your implicit racism and bias against black bodies inside of your district. Let me show you a picture since they don't want to release the name of their security guard, former cop. Let me show you a picture of the boss, Teresa Kemper, okay? Look at her, she's the one in charge. She's the one that was in charge of the reassignment of this man and ultimately not doing what should have been done. It's a damn shame. Adrian, what are your thoughts? Well, I think first of all, the man is a former uh, former deputy because he's no longer a deputy, which tells me there's probably something wrong there. Yes. Also, the fact that he's a supervisor, yet he has lacks adequate training, also tells me there's something wrong there, which either says that no, they just didn't train him at all, or also they're also not so training their subordinates. Also, wasn't 2020 training enough? Like I know not to kneel on people's yeah. necks like George Floyd. Let's do this together guys by paying attention. The fact that this man felt completely comfortable putting his knee on the neck of a child and holding her down and claiming I didn't know better tells me that you think I'm stupid. And so definitely that school district, that entire institution has a significant problem. And the next institution that is going to be inheriting this genius of a security guard is also gonna have a problem. Either way, I do hope that girl's parents sue because lack of adequate training, that tells me that's a school issue, not a student issue.